Uh, I'm going ahead and I'm getting started on this rabbit manure collection. Now I'm going to raise it off the ground before you guys saw it. Last video it was just uh, laying on the ground on some bricks. Anyways, so it causes a lot of a mess. They miss a lot. You can see a lot in the back. I scraped some of this down because I'm getting gravel tomorrow. I also threw these in real quick. Now they're not perfect, but uh, they're basically going to be supports. And they're, they're in there about a foot or two. Nothing ridiculous, but I had to put these in before they lay gravel. I didn't want to have to, to move gravel all the way to dig a hole. Got the gravel put in a couple days ago. I just set the manure collections just back down here real quick just to kind of, you know, collect that stuff. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and start putting some wood up here to make a this raised platform for this manure collection. I'm going to have it at a slight angle so that I only have to use one box. My original plan was to use two bins side by side, but it just seems like a waste. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like starting here and then have it at a slight angle up so it all rolls forward and what we're going to do is put like a little bit of a plastic sheet in the back so if this thing's dropped down it, it drips or rolls down uh, just to cover about the, the back half and then it'll, it'll collect right here and then i'll be able to just pull them out and, and dump them as needed and then below that i'm thinking instead of having urine collect all over top of this gravel i'll just have a a, a solid bucket or a solid bin I, I bought a bunch of more i brought a bu bunch more bins home so I'll have a solid one underneath it to catch all that. Something along those lines. Well, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this project done today, but I'll do my best and uh, we'll get it done this weekend. That's the gist of it. High side in the back. It's kind of a pretty steep angle, which I need for, uh, you'll see whenever it's done, but we've got one over in the back over here, straight line all the way down. And one over here, straight line all the way down. Well, straight enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is just for collecting uh, manure. It's not, it doesn't have to be, you know, plumb and everything. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some runners, I guess. I don't know what you wanna call them. Down like this at an angle. And we're gonna use that to set the boxes and the bins in. So I'm gonna to have to extend this out somehow. I don't have posts in the ground over here. I'm not gonna put any in, but I'll figure a way out to do that. I measured this out for me, it's 39 inches. If you're gonna build something similar to this, it's gonna be different. So just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a bunch of these at uh, 39 inches, roughly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut one out and go along and make sure it fits, cause this might not be perfect. And then I'm gonna cut a bunch out at that same. Again, this is burnt out wood, no big deal. It's not gonna hold a bunch of weight. I'm gonna clean this stuff out on the regular. All right, so just a piece right here. It's gonna go on the bottom like this, somehow like that. And that's what, what our bins are gonna sit in up against here. Now, <clears throat> I don't wanna put these like everywhere because I have to have drainage because I wanna drain down into this. And below here is gonna be another uh, collection for the, for the urine, like I was saying. So I'll put one here. Um, you know, I'll probably do some longer ones on the ends near these boards so I can I can grab into the sides here. And then when the time comes, what I'll do is uh, we'll figure it out. So I'm just gonna measure it out and it's gonna be something like, like this. I can get an idea of where I need like the center of this board to go. This is right here. So you see the gist of it, it'll go like this and it'll go every couple and it'll just be something for this to set into. And I'll try to make it to where it can't slide off. It can't slide down into it like that. So I'll have to put some kind of backer or something. I'll put something in here. Even just a little little one by four across the bottom to make it to where it can't dip down in. And then that'll be fine. But that's how it'll look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through and knock this out. I'm not gonna sit here and have you guys watch me do all this. 
and then um, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so here's how it's coming so far. You can kind of see how it's how it's how it's doing its thing. Now I want to show you guys a little trick, and that's if you don't have two people, two people, you know, you need one person on one side, one person on the other. So what I did was I just took some clamps and I just rested a two by four across there to kind of hold hold this up while I'm doing it. And I'll show you guys. I'll do one real quick and show you, give you an idea of uh, how it's done. I already went ahead and measured everything and I just got little marks here where I need the center to be. And uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do what you can. And... This is how it looks right now. I still got to figure out a way how to make put some plastic from the back to go into these two tubs. Um, there's not a lot of room here. I didn't really measure it out. I probably should have done that or at least put the, the angle a little bit smaller. It's fine though. What I'll do is I'll put some plastic that wraps around the back and then comes into here somehow. I'll make, I'll make something. I'll figure it out. And then um, from there, it shouldn't be too bad. I might have to put a piece of wood in here that like stretches across just to hold a little piece of plastic and that might work, but we'll figure it out. Next task is to figure out how to join this over to here without really putting another post in. I'm probably just going to sister a piece onto this and then maybe just put like a leg down here for now because I got this one over here or maybe I'll just not worry about it too much on this one. I don't know. Same thing with the one, the ones on the end over here. This one will be pretty easy because there's four, four posts over here. I'll be able to make something. It won't be the same as these, but it'll be similar. I might actually put more bins in here. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure. But I'm going to keep working at it and trying to figure this out. And I'll get back with you guys in a second. I was able to fix this side by just sistering some boards together and throwing in some uh, just two by four posts. They're just sitting on the ground. But it's tight enough to where I'm not worried about it. And these are treated wood. I pulled some treated boards out. I also put this rail back here. Now this is where my plastic is going to attach to. And it's going to go down here like this. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to put something here to make it turn and come out over the middle of these box, these bins or maybe like the, a third into them. The ones that are going to be up here. Let me show you real quick. Get you a, a quick idea what we're doing. I'm not going to be able to finish this up today. It's getting pretty dark out. The sun's going down. It's, you know, it's that time. And, uh, so it'll sit like this. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put like a one by four or a two by two coming out here all the way to here, which is kind of tight, but it, it, it'll, it won't rest on this because I need to be able to get these out. I need to be able to pull these up and slide them out. I didn't really think about this. If I did, I would have lowered this a lot. Would have made it a lot easier to put a ramp here. I could even, actually, I could even put a post here, a little post here to set it on. That way, yeah, that's what I'll do. Anyways, the plastic's going to start up here and it's going to prevent them from pissing out the back all over the metal. I got to clean it up, by the way. But what we're going to do, one sheet of plastic, come down here, and it's going to turn into about here and it's going to stop here and it's going to have a drip edge so it'll just drip down drip down so i'll just leave a little bit of plastic hanging down and then it'll just be loose plastic there but it'll be fine and it'll come into here now i changed my mind on making a urine collection i'm not going to waste all these uh, bins making a urine collection that's just stupid so what i'll do is i'll cut out a section here like that to, for the urine to drip into i'll put it in some quarter inch hardware cloth and then what I'll do below is put a PVC gutter in essentially. I'll do one from this side all the way to here and I'll do one from that side all the way down as well and what it'll do is I'll cut cutouts where the the, uh, the urine collection is going to be in the PVC and it'll drip down into there and it'll angle down into here into a bucket that way there's just one collection point for something that I need to dump out as opposed to you know letting that urine just uh leak all into this gravel and it'll smell if you uh if you do that so i don't want that and then there's there's a market for rabbit urine for people who hunt so maybe i can get into that business i don't know we'll see but that's what it's gonna that's what it's gonna be like so this took me quite a few hours to kind of figure out it's not really 
rocket science over here and it's not built like like it should be. I use a lot of screws when I should have used nails, but I, I couldn't find my nail gun. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I'm in the process of lowering this whole thing by about six inches. You can see there where it was on the left. On the right, that's where it's at now. It's not that hard, but it's kind of a pain. Where it was at was just, it was way too high to make a good slope for what I'm trying to do here. Uh, you can see there's they already peed all over this and I'll clean that up a little bit later, but um, yeah, I gotta lower that side down and I'm gonna put these in here and build a little ramp. Hopefully make it uh, usable today. I wanna show you guys where I'm at here. I made this little shelf system. You can kind of, you kind of see it. It's not perfect, but looks pretty good. I need to put some more bracing in here or something. But uh, what it's going to do is plastic's going to rest on this, and it's going to make a little ramp for you know anything that happens in the back to roll down to the front. And uh, I got it all the way in there, and we're going to try to. Uh, Try to put the plastic on tonight. Now I still need to, 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 I got new bins. These, you know, piles of bins over here. I'm gonna change them out. These ones got holes in them. Here's the plastic. I need to tighten this up. I just haven't, um, I ordered some wiggle wire on the back. I haven't secured the back, it's just draped over. On the front, there's just a couple screws in here. I'm gonna put some furring strips on here uh, on the front to, to really tighten this up. But I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the wiggle wire uh, in the back first. And that's gonna make it extremely tight, hopefully. Uh, you can see here where it's kind of it's kind of good. It doesn't have like a, a pouch like this one does, where it's just collecting, and it, it, like over here is really bad. So I don't want to keep working this and rethinking it and rethinking it and changing it. I think this will work out fine. It's not perfect, but it'll work out okay. And um, I'm gonna change out these buckets yet and put a gutter system under here. I'm gonna wait to tighten up all that stuff first before, um, because I already drilled a bunch of holes in these, and I, I'm gonna basically get rid of that and just drill a bunch of holes in the front and then have a gutter collection right here to collect and then a bucket or something down there my wiggle wire in i'm gonna go ahead and start installing this now what this is is just uh something for tightening a plastic it's generally using greenhouses and things like that uh, i'm gonna use it on this application you can see here and maybe you can see it's kind of bright um it's it's there's a there's a pocket in there collecting all the, the manure and urine so i need to make these super tight for my application, like you can see it real, real well over here, and it just fills up. So, don't want anything like that, that's pretty terrible. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this, and then uh, I'll cut back to it when I'm done, or mostly done, to kind of show you guys how to do it. Here it is set up, it's on the top rail. Figure I'll give it a little bit more of a, of a lift, as opposed to putting it on this side, and it'll, just, it'll go in here, a wire will go in here, and it'll tighten it up. Now I'm going to come down here as well and put one on the back side right here so it can, it can wrap all the way around this thing and then I can reach the back side from here pretty easily versus moving all these uh, trays out of the way. So I'll put it here and it'll wrap around and tight, tighten there and up there. I bought enough to, to cover this whole thing twice so it'll be able to do it. Let's uh, get that done and then I'll cut back to that. It's working out really well. It's, it's not perfectly tight but it's, it's a lot tighter than what it was before. Trust me on that. And you can always tighten it back up by just loosening up and you know tightening a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's super, it's really easy. All you have to do is just take this stuff and put it in here like this. You know, you're gonna wanna do this with two hands. I'm just showing you guys how to do it, but um, you're gonna wanna pull tight on the bottom down here, real tight so that you can get this a lot tighter than what it is. And you just go in here and you pop them in there like this. And whenever you wanna like loosen them up, you just, you get in there and you just un undo it like that. And I'll have this done in a few minutes and I'll show you guys the finished product. Looks pretty good. It's uh, pretty straight and pretty taut. It's not the tightest in the world. It's not like you hit it and it makes a vibration noise or anything like that. But it's pretty good for what I'm doing here. I think this will be fine. We'll check back in a couple of weeks and see if there's a bunch of buildup on here. Uh, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna install some gutters in the front here to collect that urine because they do pee a lot. I didn't realize how much they pee until I saw that loop that it was here it was just full of urine. All right, well, I'll get those gutters done. I'll show you guys that. And then hopefully uh, it'll remake some boxes. And then maybe in a week or so, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. I have the gutter system on 
and uh, it looks pretty good and it works I've already tested it with water just to make sure it's graded right and it's it's got enough of a of a decline slope there to, to get it where it needs to go so now I'm just gonna remove all these boxes and put new boxes in and I'm just gonna drill a bunch of holes down on the end right here so all the water has to come down here or all the you know urine and then drain through here There are the holes. I had to come back in here with a shot vac real quick and knock out all these plastic shavings, but pretty much that's how it's gonna work. Drainage holes there, and uh, I gotta label these like one, two, three, four, you know, however, however many bins there are, because they're set up in a certain order. They're drilled, the holes are drilled in a certain way, so I gotta make sure I don't get them out of place. That'll be easy enough to do with the Sharpie. And that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of uh, something over here to create like a thing, so, Manure and pee doesn't fall through here and get on those that, that plumber like it did before But I'll probably just use scrap pieces of gutter or something like that We'll come back in about a week and uh, I'll double you know we'll, we'll see how it's doing now as far as the plastic looks pretty good But there's some spots there where it's gonna be um, it's gonna need to be either tightened up or cleaned out a little bit better I think I'll come through here like every time I remove the uh, the bins to empty them. And I'll just spray this down with a hose. Keep it clean. And uh, once the stuff on the, on the ground here all dries up, I'm just gonna come in here with a leaf blower and blow all this stuff out of here. And the reason, a lot of people might be asking why am I going through all the trouble to, to, col to collect the urine and collect the poop and all that stuff. Um, number one, I don't want all that stuff sitting here on the ground because it'll start to smell pretty bad if it's uh, composting, you know, if it's wet. And number two is I plan on selling a lot of this manure and even the urine. Some people use urine for hunting. You know, I'll bottle some up and try to sell it. And if it sells, cool. If not, I'll just dump it or I'll do something with it. Uh, over here, you can see how it's, it's working. It's dripping a little bit. So it's definitely working as far as the urine collection. It's dripping down here and it'll go down there and you can see it. And it'll drip down in there and then go on but like I said we plan on selling manure uh, or using it ourselves, anyways for for gardening but we're, we have so many rabbits and we're getting more I'm keeping more that we're gonna have uh, an abundance of this stuff so I, I, I already sell a bunch of stuff that's what I do for a living I buy and sell things so you know it can't be that hard to sell some manure on eBay I'm sure people sure there's some people out there who want to buy it if I, uh, once I start selling it, I'll put a link in the description just to, if you guys want to support the channel or buy some, some shit, you can buy it from me there. Um, also, if, uh, if you guys seen anything I could have done better or I could still, you know, come back and do better, let me know in the comments. I'd really like to, especially that wiggle wire stuff because, you know, it's kind of a pain and it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't too expensive getting all on there. I'm sure there's a better way. Now, I didn't want to use boards. I wanted to use plastic, something that's very cheap and easy to, to replace and throw away. Um, but uh, I'm sure there's a better way. Somebody enlighten me in the comments. Let me know what the best way of, of doing that is. Because my number one problem here is I didn't think about this out. So if, if this was a bigger slope, like a much bigger slope, like if these were a lot lower, then it would be a lot easier. Uh, now I, I could read. I'm not redoing this. It's I, I spent enough time thinking about this and doing it and tinkering with it that I am not redoing it. But if you're going to do this in the future, I definitely recommend a much bigger slope here. Like we're talking, I'm talking like this, like down, like that. If it was down like that, it would have been a lot easier. Now there are I've seen people use uh, you know sheet metal like this, and that that's fine. I don't like the way it looks. I think this looks more cleaner, but. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, like I said, if, if you think that there's a better way, go for it. Also, I could have got different bins. I could have got bins that were the, the same length all the way. That would have been much easier because I wouldn't have to build all this tarp stuff. Uh, but I use what I got. I got these for uh, for two bucks each. You know, it's that's I'm not gonna. You can't beat that price. I'm not gonna go out and spend fifty bucks on a bin, you know, or or try to hunt down one for cheap because I need I need a bunch of them. And I end up want something that's easy to pick up. These things have handles built into the side, and they don't weigh that much. Even fold, they're not that they're not that heavy. Twenty pounds maybe. If I got a bigger bin, it's gonna be you know twice twice the weight. Anyways, I'll cut back to uh, next week. We'll see this in action. You can, I mean, you can hear them dropping manure. I can, I can hear it pinging. And there's another one. But yeah, it just bounces in there and fills up. It's great. All right, see you guys in a week. It's a week later, and I would say it's a success. Uh, the rabbit collection, poop, urine collection, patent pending. It's doing really well. So this is about, about a week of urine look at this thing i gotta do something with it like today uh we're actually gonna make like a urine collection thing and try to sell some uh rabbit urine to hunters and whatnot but uh talk about that some other time right now there's a couple low spots you can see where it's uh collecting so i'll have to make some kind of rake or something i tried tightening it up but the problem is is it's just the way i built this it's it could have been better if you're ever if you're gonna do this, make it more of a, a, a decline so that it just basically falls in, and then um, just be careful around posts because that's where all the problem the problem spots are around these posts. It's because I, I put the two by four on the back side of the post instead of the front side of the post just because I didn't have enough room. So you can see where it's kind of collecting there, but you can also see where this is filling up very well. All right, it's it's this one's that definitely because there's a bunch of babies in here, but it's filling up, and I put these little rain guards, these gutters here, to prevent. Uh, stuff from leaking down on the inside here and I want to say like I said I think it's, it's great so if you learned something uh, leave a like uh, I'd really appreciate that it helps our channel out significantly write a comment share with your friends thanks for watching